What's up y'all? This is Tom and this is Like a Math Class. In this video, we're going to be building on the ideas that we did in the previous video where we were finding the slope of a curve. We were, specifically, we were looking at the line uh, or the curve y equals x squared. We're going to continue to use that idea uh, in this video and we're going to be building on that to, to try and see if we can come up with a generalization on how we can find the slope at any point on the curve. And this builds into an idea called the first principle. Uh, uh, the first principle of calculus. So we're going to use this to build into that idea of the first principle. Let's get to it. To begin with, what is the first principle? Basically, for anything, the first principle is a foundational idea that cannot be deduced any further, meaning it can't be broken down any further. It's, it's kind of like the baseline for all that is built upon. And uh, within calculus or the derivatives, this is the definition of the derivative. It's the foundational idea of a derivative, right? These two things kind of go hand in hand. Some places, uh, some parts of the world call uh, this using the first principle. Other parts of the world call this the definition of a derivative. But either way, what we're about to do is we're about to kind of come up with that foundational idea to find the equation for the slope of a curve. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to bring this point down closer and closer and closer to this spot so we end up with a tangent line that's cutting across here. So uh, looking at this line again as y equals x squared is our red curve. So let's say we're talking about the point 1, 1 squared. So we need to make this distance right here, this distance, really, really small. So imagine us bringing this point really close, or maybe we're zoomed in uh, at a really, really fine point. So we'll call this distance h. So this point up here would be 1 plus h, right? So here, if this, if this is the coordinate of 1, 1, then as we move over here, this is going to be 1 plus whatever that distance is. So that means the, the y value is going to be 1 plus that distance squared, right? So there we've got, there we've got our, let's make, clean that up a little bit. There we've got our second point. So just think of this thing as really small. This is really, really small, almost infinitely small. So if we want to find the slope at this point, uh, the slope is always y2, which is be 1 plus h squared minus y1, which is this thing down here, minus 1, 1 squared is, or 1 squared, we'll just do that, over y2, 1 plus h, minus y1, which is just 1. All right, so we end up with a value of uh, here, let's see this, 1 plus h squared. That goes back to the, the idea of binomial expansion. So you may want to go back and double check that to, uh, to review that piece as well. But that's going to be one. Uh, that's going to be one squared plus two times one h plus h squared minus minus this one right here. So minus one squared. This this one squared right here is this here, and this all of this is the binomial expansion of this piece right there, and all of that is going to be over. Well, 1 plus h minus 1, 1 minus 1, so we're left with just h in the denominator. So now as we go a little bit further, we've got 1 plus 2h plus h squared minus 1 over h. All right, well, look at here. Th these two things are going to simplify out. So we're left with 2h plus h squared over h. Let's factor out an h. So that leaves us with 2 plus h over h. These things also simplify out. And so our slope that we're left with is 2 plus h. So that's the slope at this point. But remember, h is infinitely small. It's really, really, really small. So really, our slope is going to be 2. So let's put this with the data that we found in the other video. And we had uh, at point 24, we had a slope of 4. At point 39, we had a slope of 6. And now at point, at point, 
1, 1, we have a slope of 2. So I'm starting to see a little bit of a pattern here. 2, 4, 6. It seems as though, if I think back to my sequences and series, and I think about x as my inputs, and this is my output, as I'm kind of finding the slope here, I'm finding the slope at this x value for this curve. Again, let me, let me say that a little bit slower. As I'm finding the slope at a specific x point on my curve, a specific x point, so this would be like my position for my, uh, my sequence and series, this is my output. Uh, this is the, the result that I get, the term value, so 2, 4, 6. So go again, now, now not only are we going back to binomial expansion, you can also go back to your sequences and series to kind of connect some of the ideas that we have uh, with this as well. And we're seeing that at 1, we got 2. At 2, we've got 4. At 3, we got 6. So I would guess it seems as though the slope at any point, at any point on y equals uh, x squared is going to be 2x. So there we go. So 2 times whatever our x value is, is going to be our slope. And this is, this is kind of the beginnings of this idea of what the first principle is. So by this point getting really small, that's like us saying h is going to be approaching zero. This distance between these two things is going to be getting so small that the distance is practically zero, but not zero. Because really, if we had a value of h equaling zero, if it actually equaled zero, then this whole thing it would be undefined. We can't divide some function by zero. So what's happening is we are basically saying this thing has to be so infinitely small that it's practically zero, but it's not zero. And that's what makes this idea so kind of uh, the foundational idea of the derivative. Because we are, we are using this idea that something is so small that it's practically small for our, for our purposes, but it can't be zero because once, it, once it's zero, uh, the whole thing kind of breaks apart because we can't actually find the slope there. So what we've done here, as this thing has gotten really small, we've basically said we could find the slope at any curve. The slope is the change in y over the change in x. And in calculus, we say dy over dx, and that is really the limit of some function f of x as h approaches 0 is the the equation for the slope of a point on the curve. This is the big idea. This is what we are getting at. This thing here. This is the first principle. The first principle says, hey, we can find this thing, this dy dx. This is the slope of any function as we get the distance between two points infinitely close is going to give us the equation of the slope at that point on the curve. This may not seem like a big idea, but this is a huge idea because now we can look at any function. And in the next video, uh, I'll look at a couple different functions. I'm going to have you work through a couple functions as well to use this idea of the first principle of derivatives, the, the definition of derivatives, to find the, the equation for the slope of a couple different functions. So we'll see you in the next video.